Welcome back. This is Blair Reich, um, or Dr. Blair Reich. I'm here to talk to you again about the Mandela Effect. Uh, and today I wanted to go kind of mention one of the causes. Uh, there was an article that came out of Bank of America that kind of made me want to go talk about uh, some of the potential causes of the Mandela Effect and just kind of bring them to your attention. Um, so we're going to start here. So I, I put out a couple different quizzes, and on those quizzes I've had 28,000 and almost 800 people uh, respond to my Mandela Effect one. That's the one where I put together a paper called Exploring the Mandela Effect with 25,000 respondents. Uh, it's gotten a couple of views on YouTube already, so that's kind of exciting. This was a brand new account three days ago, so 600 views from nowhere seems pretty good to me. But anyways, look, um, so we have this quiz, uh, and, and it gets me kind of talking about these things. One of the additional quizzes, so in the uh, this other one, so this top one, In-Depth Exploration, um, I go into, I ask people the question, where is Earth located in the Milky Way? And um, the initial responses so far are Arm of Sagittarius or the Orion Spur. Um, and so for the people that are undergoing the Mandela Effect or experiencing the Mandela Effect, or in this case, the Toto Effect, um, they would say uh, the Arm of Sagittarius. And the actual answer of where we are is the Orion Spur. And these two things are 80,000 light years apart. Uh, now, I haven't had a ton of answers. I just added this question of how, how confident are you? I think I did that today. Um, and only four people have said I'm extremely confident. But I, I'm predicting that just about everybody that bothers to answer this question um, is going to be extremely confident because, you know, the only people that can really answer this are like astronomy buffs or astronomy professionals. So um, most people just skip this. They have no idea what I'm talking about. But for those people that do talk about it, I'm expecting that they're uh, exceptionally confident or extremely confident. And the people that are experiencing this thing are, you know, 80,000 light years apart. Um, and so one of the things that I also ask in this is, what do you think is responsible for the Mandela and the, the Toto effects? And here are some of the most common answers. I kind of tried to put together as many of these things as I could um, to go give as many different options. And so you can see time travel, CERN, the D-Wave computer, jumping dimensions, merging timelines. We live in a virtual reality or simulation, religion, reincarnation, uh, law of one suggests our souls have been harvested, ascension, none of the above. I don't know is the big one. Uh, I added wormhole. This whole thing is idiotic. And then some other people have been... Illuminati or logic overriding strange truth or the internet family breakdown, who knows? But um, there's a whole bunch of options that are put out there. Um, but one of the things that I think we have to be able to take into account of, you know, why, why are we experiencing this or what have we experienced or what caused it is that we are now 80,000 light years from where we were. So just a little thing like time travel, um, you know, I, I don't really understand the, the physics concept of how, you know, somebody rich and powerful or with a government or an alien or whoever it was that could go back in time uh, could then also suddenly make us 80,000 light years apart from where we are. I mean, maybe their technology is so awesome that they could do that. But uh, just simply going back in time doesn't strike me as an answer of how you could move the Earth 80,000 light years from where it was. So I'm not sure about all these, or even just like merging timelines. If my timeline merged, um, how did I also move 80,000 light years? Because if I'm on a different planet or I'm in someplace other, it doesn't just feel like that's a simple timeline merge. So this is where I started. Um, maybe we're in this virtual reality or simulation. I, I still don't know. I don't have an answer to this, but uh, I'm just trying to have an open discussion of kind of the stages of as I look at this data and start thinking about different aspects of it, what, what does that lead me? So I'm not the only person that um, that thinks that maybe this is a, uh, a simulation. This is Neil deGrasse Tyson thinks there's a very high chance that, that the universe is just a simulation. Uh, and here's sort of a quote. This is like a two hour thing and I couldn't find this quote in it. but uh, And if that's the case, it is easy for me to imagine that everything in our lives is just the creation of some other entity for their entertainment. I'm saying the day we learn that is true, I will be the only one in the room saying I'm not surprised. So there you go. Somewhere in this two hour presentation, he says eh, it, it very well could be a simulation. Uh, other folks have said this too. Elon Musk. Um, this is like the, the Tesla and SpaceX CEO. He's gone out there. Um, 
I've had so many simulation discussions, it's crazy. In fact, it got to the point where basically every conversation was the AI slash simulation conversation. My brother and I finally agreed that we ban any such conversations if we're ever in a hot tub because that really kills the magic. So, I mean, I, you know, I, I like to talk about the hard times that we're all going to go through. The hard times, economy will collapse, and that's my... That's sort of my fall to uh, funny conversation or sad conversation. He seems to have that same sort of thing for um, this AI thing. But Elon Musk is sort of a prominent rich guy that uh, slurps off the teeth of the government quite a bit and has gotten famous and rich for it. Um, so that's a dude with that opinion. Uh, there's this whole, there's a paper that's published about this. Are you living in a computer simulation by Nick Bostrom and, uh, this thing is pretty long, but it, it's basically, you know, like a referenced uh, mathematical um, attempt to explain why it's possible and even likely that we're in a simulation. So here's at least one physicist that has tried to put together a reasonable argument for that. Um, I already showed this. And then one of the ones that just came out that kind of it kind of has my brain warped a little bit was the uh, bank of america there's a 20 to 50 percent chance we're inside the matrix and reality is just a simulation so you know this is just weird like why you know they're talking a little bit about ar uh, or, or virtual reality and some of like the augmented reality um so they're talking about this both as a, a business thing but they're also actually saying it is conceivable that with advancements in artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and computer power, members of future civilization could have decided to run a simulation of their ancestors. And it's basically just that we are the simulation of their ancestors, which is this, I mean, um, just where it's coming from is so weird, right? Why is, why is Bank of America putting this out? Is this like some type of transparency that somebody in the know and they're just kind of leaking this? Is this just one dude's opinion and... It's just sort of this silly way to go get investors interested in uh, virtual reality and augmented reality. I, I don't really know. But uh, this one came out. It's a piece of data that I'll just file away in the back of my head. Uh, but that is certainly there. And then um, so yeah, I've created this YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully you can go take some time to go look at some of my other Mandela Effect videos. I, I think I was the first one to like actually report on the oath of enlistment uh, changes. So there's some good stuff in there. Uh, and then lastly, if you're interested in following some of the other work I do, I do put, I have some satires and political satire, a bit of fiction writing. Uh, and some of my Mandela effect goes on to uh, Steam It, where I blog as aggro here. So uh, check it out. Thanks for your time. And um, I don't know. Let's keep trying to think about what might cause this thing.